All right, here with head men's golf coach Mike Horn and sophomore Brendan Says after probably the best fall in program history, uh, pretty safe to say. So we just wanted to take a few minutes to catch up with you guys in between your fall and spring season and uh, let everybody know, maybe if they don't know, kind of how special that fall was. Uh, coach, what were you most pleased with from uh, your team this fall? After the first week, we uh, we didn't have our lineup set, and then we got the lineup kind of set pretty good after that. And I was really pleased with the consistency and the contributions from everybody down the line. Um, you know, we, we didn't have, uh, uh, as, as well as Brendan's played this fall, we haven't had that, but we haven't had the consistency either. You know, we'd have 77s or 78s that we'd have to count. And uh, uh, every time out we went, we went and played really well. It was really, really fun to be part of that. So a couple polls, you guys are ranked 28th, just outside the top 25. Uh, the team won four tournaments. Uh, Brendan, who we're, I'll get to you in a second, won three of them, just over a 71-stroke average. Brendan, where did you think you improved the most from a season where you were GLIAC Freshman of the Year? Um, I'd have to say probably my mental aspect. I really changed it over the summer where I was getting down on myself. I noticed that last spring where I would really – get down on myself and then that would affect the whole round and then in the end kind of cost our team a few spots. Remember when I'd come up to you and say, you know, I still like you, you don't have to be so down. And uh, so yeah, he's a, he, Brendan's proved that. I, you know, if you'd ask me, I think I'd say the same thing. Um, big change and uh, the worst part about a bad shot in golf is letting it affect the next shot. So we're all going to hit bad shots. You know, we're at this level, even if you're a professional, you're going to hit bad shots you got to know that that's an anomaly, and we're going to move on. Yeah, golf's a uh, – in intercollegiate athletics, golf is it's really you versus you, uh, and that's not the case in most sports. So talk a little bit about what you do with your guys in terms of that mental training. Just kind of keep preaching it. And I would guess after three or four years they're going to be sick of me, and, and the, you're probably sick of me already <laughs> talking about it. But it's true. Um, you have to let it go, and you have to know that – you're going to have a shot that's not going to come off just like you you, you wanted, um, and that it's okay. And you know if you keep it on the golf course and keep it out of the hay, keep it out of the water, you're you're going to be okay. So um, all these guys are talented enough that a bad shot just might take away the opportunity for a birdie, but you know they can still make par. And sometimes they'll surprise themselves and still have a birdie chance. So um, you know it, it just from years of me uh, having that experience that. You know, I, I just know it's the case. and seen so many kids that, or adults uh, uh, later in life that uh, get affected by a bad shot, and as soon as they get down, it's, it's over. So uh, these guys have done a great job at, at doing that. Do the goals change any after a fall like that? The goal is always to do well at Gleex, try to get in the top three. Um, the, the tournament, you know, making the tournament's always a goal, and, you know, we're, we're in pretty good shape for that. We'd have to do something really stupid uh, but the goal has changed I think we can compete not only to get to the final 20 but I think we can compete if everything you know breaks our way a little bit for the top 10 of the country but it has to break your way mm -hmm. everybody's got to be playing their best at that time but we have enough talent to to really make a, a deep run but got to do it when it counts and it uh, is that that's the next challenge mm -hmm. to do it when it really is a, a big big stage Brendan individually do your goals change from what you set or wrote down before the fall? Uh, I wouldn't really say so, no. I just try to keep on playing the best I can and help the team out, and hopefully we can win four more in the spring. All right. A little bit of a unique situation being up north. Talk about staying sharp uh, between the fall and spring seasons. I imagine you guys would like to keep playing the way you guys were playing, just have your schedule and go to the NCAA championships right there at the end of the fall. I wanted the GLEX to follow up right behind yeah. our last tournament and then the NCAA tournament, but, you know, we'll be ready for the spring. Yeah, yeah we'll um, – I kind of like uh, – I would love to be just about in the, uh, the Ohio Valley area because mm -hmm. yeah. there you're going to take about a month off. You're forced to with the weather. Yeah. Um, we're forced to take about three months off here. Uh, but we'll be right back at it, and uh, we'll go to practice down south in uh, February, and uh, we'll hopefully have three or four chances to get on grass before we compete in the spring. 